Hello there YouTube, my name is Chuggy and today yet again I am joined by Team LOL. Uh, this week we are comprised of uh, Wharton, say hello Wharton. Hello. Uh, Tess Shadow, say hello Shadow. Hello. And of course Dark Symmetry as well, say hello Dark. Hello Dark. <laughs> Liking the literalness, excellent. Uh, <laughs> so basically what this is guys is a brief opportunity to have our two teammates uh, this week uh, be able to talk a little bit about themselves before our, our match against uh, PTFO Patrol. And essentially, guys, this is for you to uh, well, say as much or as little about yourselves uh, to the community. And uh, yeah, just introduce yourself a bit. So, um, Wharton, if you'd like to go first, uh, it's all yours. Sure. Well, um, um, don't really know what to say. I like it. <laughs> um, no, I first started playing shooter games about Call of Duty 2 and then picked up Battlefield at Modern Combat. And then started playing them properly at Bad Company 1, which I thought was really fun. Mm. So it's good to hear someone else who picked up Battlefield with Modern Combat. I, I still think today some of the best maps Battlefield have ever done has been in that game. But hardly anyone played it, which is a really sad thing. Yeah. Never mind. Um, but yeah, <laughs> cracking game, cracking game. How about you, Shadow? Um, okay. Um, I'm not sure uh, where I started, but I think the first thing I remember was like Call of Duty 4. Uh, I was on Xbox at the time, uh, then I switched to PS3 as soon as, as, as it released. Yeah. Um, Battlefield, well, I started at Bad Company 2. Uh, I wasn't a big Battlefield fan, but a friend of mine convinced me, you know. So I hopped on and it was, uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I mean, I could say it was the most fun I've had was in ba Battlefield Bad Company 2. So you're not the only one who's, who well, said that to, to us and Team LOL in sort of the little time we've been doing this. So, uh, for me, I've said this before, Bad Company 2, it was great. It was a little arcadey for me. I think Battlefield 3's got a lot of things right, which I think could have needed a bit of a tweak. But having said that, Bad Company 2 was an amazing game, and I enjoyed playing it, nonetheless. Doc, out of all this, I don't think I've ever asked you, how did you get into gaming? <laughs> well, <laughs> um, the, the thing is that I think I, I've been gaming for as long as I can remember. I think I played Pac-Man when I was four years old on this 086 computer. And so I think there's still like a picture where I have to like stand up straight and not be able to sit on a chair to actually reach the mouse. <laughs> so, <laughs> But um, yeah, I've been playing video games ever since. I just never really stopped. But um, Battlefield specifically was Bad Company 2 as well. So, really fun game. I pretty much started only with shooters two years ago or something, with Killzone first, and then um, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, and then Battlefield, and that was really when it sort of clicked for me because of the strategical considerations, you know, it wasn't only about the, the aiming and the points and stuff like that, but really, you know, thinking through outsmarting people, so that really got me hooked. Sweet. Well, having said that, uh, obviously... Uh Battlefield with DLC and E3 and everything else, we've now got our hands on Battlefield Premium. Now, uh, the long and short of it, if you don't quite know what Premium is, is it's like a membership kind of thing. It's, um, it's not subscription-based, it's a one-off fee, but for that you get exclusive in-game stuff as well as all the DLC, not only early, but bundled in in the price. Now, for me, I thought that was a great idea, because frankly, I think I would have bought all the DLC anyway, and the fact I'm getting a slight discount of extra stuff, sweeten the deal. But I am personally concerned about the amount of uh, well, I don't know, premium pushing they're put, or they have put into the game in terms of you've got the massive premium thing on the main menu whenever you're killed by someone who is premium this is a premium player the queue priority and stuff I think they're perhaps pushing it a little bit personally what do you guys think? No one? I think it makes sense if Wharton goes first because then we keep I'll the same order <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead I'll learn someone else here um, Yeah, the <laughs> Yeah, they do seem to be pushing it quite a bit, especially um, when you are killed and you get the big long banner saying premium player. It, it does seem to be pushed quite a bit. Mm. What about you, mm. Shadow? I'm not sure. I just like that there's the discount. That pretty much seals the deal for me. Yeah, same but here, same here. The rest are just, you know, I don't know, just whatever. Extra. And the thing which gets just me, you know. on top. Yeah, I mean, everyone's premium, so why have it in the first place? It seems like everyone who's killed me as of late, I think I've been killed once by someone who wasn't a premium person, and the whole time, I'd sort of, it's all been out, but I think it's a bit daft. What do you think, Dark? 
I think it's funny when you, like, as I said before, when you get into a queue and you get pushed forward in the queue, or at least it says that because you're a premium player, but because everybody's a premium player, everybody gets pushed yeah. forward in the queue, so nobody gets pushed forward in the queue, so it's such a, <laughs> such a mind game, really. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I have precedence over other players that are not premium, but almost nobody is not premium, so... That doesn't really make a lot of sense. But to be honest, I don't know. I think it just adds a bit of polish and they're trying to make you feel special for, you know, like paying up early. Because, I mean, basically what you're you're doing is you're uh, already paying for products that maybe if you didn't pay for them right now and, you know, later on you might not have the money or you get a new hobby or whatever, you know, it's you might not have paid that money. So they are trying to to uh, get some customer loyalty that way, I guess. So, I don't mind. It shows that they put in a bit more effort, even though it is a bit lame, but I can just laugh at it. Yeah. The lame bits, I mean. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I like I like the freebies, I like the camos, all that kind of stuff, but it's the DLC for me which, which sealed the deal, especially having played back to car can in close quarters, of course, as well. You know, it's, it's, it's good stuff, and I'm quite happy for them to have my money a little bit early. I think close quarters is is really interesting because like everybody was critical about it turning into like Call of Duty like gameplay or at least not having the distinctive Battlefield feel to it. And when I started playing, I was like, shit, this is Battlefield Call of Duty, you know, what the hell? But then actually after a few maps, I was like, wait, 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 I, I have played some Call of Duty and I'm getting into a bit of a different vibe here you know there's still some strategy to it and you know the different roles and everything so sort of melding together in a way where i'm like this is a nice addition you know you can play those maps for a quicker experience and then i mean hopefully the armored kill um dlc will will have the same quality and then you can sort of go for the opposite opposite experience so i can really see what they're going for with this i really like it yeah absolutely and the fact there's an ac-130 still blows my mind although you can't fly <laughs> it but still ac-130 awesome <laughs> yeah Oh dear. Well, guys, uh, we need to head off and practice. We are literally recording this an hour before our actual match. And, uh, well, I'd just like to, first of all, say thank you to uh, Wharton and uh, Shadow for joining us this week. We went through a, a few team members previous uh, due to various <laughs> things. But thank you guys for joining us this week. And, uh, yeah, well, if you want to say anything uh, in forms of goodbye, say so now. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Well, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, guys. All right, thanks very much, guys, for watching. We'll see you next time.